hey my bad little things welcome back to my channel we're gonna be doing some spooky classy halloween nails first i'm going in with this black glitter it's called seaweed by D, D nails it is the perfect color for any type of halloween nails it's like this metallic but it's glittery it's beautiful i'm just doing two coats of it and then i'm also gonna go ahead and top coat it and you're gonna do this for all the nails if you're doing press-ons or you're actually working on a client and then i'm just taking some beetles white gel polish and also my 15 millimeter brush that i got from amazon and we're just going to start going in with the design this is honestly one of the easiest concepts that i think i've like done as far as just nail art and it actually looking so beautiful and i'm telling you anyone can do this you can do this with any design, any any time of year. It doesn't just have to be Halloween nails, but this glitter black gel and the white glitter just goes together so nicely. So I just decided to make it a little spooky theme. So I'm doing a ghost and the white gel, you are not going to cure it until after you put the glitter on it. And this glitter I also got from Amazon, but it came in a pack of like July 4th glitter, but it was just screaming <laughs> at me when I wanted to do this design and then you're going to fully cure it for 60 seconds and then you're going to dust off the excess glitter you can use just like a little dust brush or a mannequin um manicure brush but look at how beautiful this glitter is and it's not a reflective glitter but whenever you turn the flash on it actually does look like a reflective glitter but I promise it's just a raw like it almost looks like a diamond like a white diamond glitter i don't know it's just really really pretty but like i said it came in a pack of july 4th glitters it was really cheap though honestly so it, it's kind of worth it if you just want the diamond glitter and now i'm going in with this really cute design i've seen it on somewhere because i was kind of looking through like instagram and pinterest just for inspiration of what kind of designs to do and i came across this bone design and i really loved it and i thought it would be perfect just to kind of be cohesive with just kind of the spooky thing that I was going for and it came out really nicely especially with this shape with the stiletto shape because usually when I do um, nail art like if I'm just practicing I usually do it on like long square nails but I wanted to do a different shape I felt like just kind of the stiletto was on theme with the Halloween nails and this bone design I honestly love it I really wanted to do these nails on myself I'm not sure if I'm going to since I already did them and made a video but they just look amazing so i really hope that you guys try this out and now i'm doing a spider web design um my tip for doing spider web designs because i feel like it is one of the easiest things but it is kind of easy for people to mess up it can be kind of confusing but just make sure that whenever you're doing the lines that you are doing them comp like right next to each other you're not like doing the lines kind of zigzag or wherever like you want to put them they need to be right next to each other and just make just create little arches just try to break down the design in your head before you start doing it so i always go with my outline first and then start doing the little arches in between but remember do not cure the white gel before you put the glitter on it and then you want to fully cure it for 60 seconds afterwards and I promise you guys, I am I want to do a Timu haul. I know it sounds like I'm jumping all over the place, but I just need to keep you guys updated with what's going on because I haven't posted in a minute. But I do want to do a Timu haul and I just want to get all new stuff as far as like making my videos look a little more aesthetic because I need the paper towel in the background. Y'all know that it's me, but <laughs> I want some better stuff. And then also the little nail stand that I use for the... um for the little practice nails and everything the one that i'm using i've had for so long and it is literally covered in airbrush polish all over it it just it kind of looks a mess so let me know if you guys are interested in a timu haul and like maybe even like a halloween theme one but i have so much stuff in my cart right now i just need to order it but just let me know if that's something that you guys want to see because i know the timu hauls are pretty popular and i love watching them so let me know if it's worth it before I go spend a couple hundred dollars on all this nail stuff. So just keep me updated on that. But this little moon and star design, I pretty much just kind of came up with it on my own. I feel like I've done something like this in the past, but it 
came together so nicely. And this could be a design for any time of year, honestly. But now I'm going to go in and do like the little blood drip design. Honestly, if, obviously it's not like blood because it's white, but you know, it kind of goes with the whole drip, like slime, blood theme, whatever with Halloween. But with the drips, um, I feel like sometimes these don't turn out well when I see some people do them. So pretty much how I taught myself is I usually use a dotting tool to place the dots, but now I just kind of get like a glob of gel on the end of my brush and like press it down into the nail to create that little drip look. And then I just drag the brush up so that it, um, the little drip part is kind of skinny, like the, the line. And then you're just going to connect the lines evenly with like round, um, around them at the top instead of them being like squared off or pointy you want to make sure that everything is smooth and round and looks like it's actually dripping and i can't get over the reflectiveness but anyway this is the final look i hope that you guys try it out let me know if you do tag me in any designs that you do i want to see what you come up with in all of your halloween designs thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you in the next one